Find insight, guidance, and answers. And answers. Tune into Spirit with Radio Medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning into Miss Gina Spirit. Welcome, Gina. Hi, Laura. Nice to be here. Where are you calling from? I'm just outside of Chicago. Very good. First impressions, I do see somebody who had ashes and they've been carried in an urn. Does this make sense to you? Kinda, yes. What's kinda? I'm actually thinking of my ex-husband that passed away. All right, because the urn had been put in a place that somebody moved it, but then also somebody set it at a table at one time as a honor or celebration and brought him to the table. Do you understand? I do. Yes. So he's saying hello, but he also says, you see him and you've talked to him. You talk to dead people. (laughs) I do. All the time I do. I believe that they can hear me. Oh, they can absolutely hear you. But anyway, he's telling me there's something about a certain date and a number that keeps appearing. And I don't know if that's associated to him or another spirit. It's associated to me. I see the number 818, which is also my date of birth all the time. 818. Yes. And you know what? That means today's a new day. It's your birthday, meaning today's a new day. Today is the day for change. Mm -hmm. It has been a long time coming. And it feels like from what they're telling me here, it's as if the message has been getting across to you to make some changes in your life. And it might even be just simple little things like, I don't know if you're thinking cosmetically, but also weight wise. A little bit of everything. Right. And then also changing maybe even your direction as far as work is concerned. Correct? Yes. So this is my impression with all this. And I've heard this before with other people about getting their birthday constantly. It means it's time to get on with it, to let the past go. This is something entirely new. You can totally transform yourself into another person that you feel guided to do. To me, I feel like your spiritual gifts are opening up so much that there's something more there for you. And it might even come in along the lines with healing as well, because I feel like you might have gone through a major healing of your own. Mm-hmm. I have, yes. And I don't know if you've considered exploring classes or if you're any type of classes. It could be online or in person. Does that make sense? It does, yes. That explores this particular area. Okay. In contributing those abilities back to others who are going through similar things you have already been challenged with that you can shed light on. Okay. And help others. Does that make sense? It does make sense, yes. They also show me, I think this is you, riding a bike. Did you have a bike? I don't ride now, but I've definitely, you know, ridden a bike in my lifetime. Sure. Have you recently or have you thought about riding a bike again? In the vein of exercise, I have. Yes. So they're sharing this with me because that's a good start. Okay. And now I know you're in Chicago and winter's coming. (laughs) Right. Yes. Which would definitely mean I can't ride a bike. (laughs) But, you know, we have some warmer weather sometimes, surprisingly, right? You never know. So you jump on that bike. That's a good way to start. Okay. They also tell me that that's not the only number, by the way. It's 111 as well. It is 111 as well. Yes, it is. Yes. And so they want you to know that your focus sometimes has got to be on the future. And so anytime 1111 pops up, you're thinking about past or you're getting hard on yourself. You're really down on yourself. Yes. Got to let those thoughts go because they'll honor those thoughts. So to me, I call that the snapshot. That's the wish number. So anytime you see 111, Put out there what it is you want, not what you don't want. That's what I would recommend. Okay, great. Thank you, Gina. I keep seeing red just pop up over the top of your head. Is that a good thing? And you got a big white light over there. That's wonderful. He wants to acknowledge he's still in your presence. But anyway, thank you, Gina, for sharing your time with me. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Laura. I appreciate it so much. If you would like to call into the pre-recorded show, sign up at radiomediumlauralee.com and please subscribe to the podcast and share it with others. We'd appreciate that. And join me for the conversation at Radio Medium Laura Lee group on Facebook. I would love to hear from you.